Hello lovely viewers slash viewer probably. Hi mum. Um, we've come to a car show. This is Ultimate Stance and we're in the retro hall because we don't like newer cars. So say hi Dan. Hi Dan. Probably two viewers. Dan's mum's probably watching as well. No, my mum doesn't like seeing me. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a walk around. This little Fiat is very cool. We like this. This is this is the legendary Aid Brennan. I know. I'm getting documented. The man, the legend. Say hi to Tab TV. Hello there, Tab TV. Dave Hotwire has been on Tab TV, but here he is. That is so dark my phone can't even cope with it so never mind but it looks pretty cool this is a Cortina proper old cars this we like don't like the uh, spooky covers on the Kragers very much but like most everything else about it hot cross flow by the looks of it crazy banana manifold one day I will come to a car show that this BMW is not at. One day. This stack like Benz is really fucking cool. We like this. Very cool. Yes. All of the yes. Dan's upset that the exhaust tips are not quite level. Just my OCD. Heading for Dan. It's probably right. Everything here is really shiny. Here's a shiny golf. I want to make Speedy sad because it's shinier than his. But the roof doesn't go down, so he'll get over it. The roof does go back though. Oh yeah, the roof does go back. Or a basto or something of that nature. Here's Dan. If I had a hazard to guess, that is a Polo 6 in open air roof. That's a cool thing. It's nicely done. I like that. Oh, they've got a board. Oh, it says it's purple. I've become blind. I thought it was black. Purple. 16 valve, apparently. 16 valve on twin webbers. That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe that's the 6N engine that I have for my... Oh, we've got some commentary crossover. Commentary crossover. Filming people filming. Weird. Uh, it's a good time. Let's all people filming each other. This is a. Let's all film each other. It's like a circle jerk of internet losers. Let's go and look at retro rides because we don't care about the rest of this shit really. Well, hold on. Let's look at this BMW. That's quite cool. Random stranger. No idea who that was. It's pretty cool. Right, retro rides. Here you can buy cool stuff. This is my shonk. We've seen that before. I don't normally let this out for indoor car shows because everything here is shiny and that is not. But here is retro rides. Nice Nova. This actually has air. Um, not sure why, because <laughs> shouldn't be mean, but. This does not have air, and as you can see, this does not need air. This also does not need air. Everything has air these days, it's like the law. No need. This is very cool, so show winner from our summer show, if you were there. Very cool, has air, like everything. Also has um, BMW M50 engine conversion. Very cool. It's fucking sick. Definitely would. And here we have our pair of low tie. Everyone knows Dean's Lotus, obviously, but um, also the Pink Panther's Lotus. Both on air, obviously, because it's a stance show and everything has air. Very cool though. Got some accoutrements, a bicycle, a surfboard, some skis. This guy does not know where he's going on holiday. 
Who goes on holiday with a surfboard and skis? He's getting all the activities. <laughs> He's getting all the activities. Oh, he's lost. <laughs> that's hilarious. Maybe Dean's Lotus. Maybe he knows of a beach that's right next to a mountain. Yeah, like California, maybe. I guess you could have a beach and then drive for a couple of hours and go skiing. This is very cool. We like this car a lot. Uh, most of you would have seen this before, but looks obviously sick. New wheels for this season. Custom Lotus split rims. Also has, I believe, an Alfa Romeo engine, but you can't see it because of the really cool louvres. One cool thing hiding another cool thing. I've been calling it the Pink Panther, but it says it's the Red Pink Panther. My bad. I suppose it is red. I also noticed that everyone here has their magazine feature on the dash. So, here's Dean's Retro Cars magazine feature. This has one in it somewhere, although I can't see where it is right now. I, saw I it can't earlier. see a magazine feature. It does have a copy of Vogue magazine with Liza Minnelli on the cover. There. Oh, maybe it was Liza Minnelli's in a past life. Actually, she hasn't died yet. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Um, I, I did not put my magazine feature on the dashboard of my car because I didn't know that was a thing. You have had a magazine feature. I have, yeah. yeah but I, I didn't put it in the dash because... Oh. I didn't realise you were supposed to do or that. On the dash. It wasn't Metro Cars, it was Total Vauxhall. Was it? Total Vauxhall. Anyway. So here is the Retro Hall at Ultimate Stance. I hope you enjoyed. We might go around another hall later. Probably not. Oh, let's look at this Beetle, this is quite cool. We ever took this on the motorway on the way here. It's very, very slow. Beetle. Beetle. Oh, we should go and look at this ridiculous shorty golf as well because I argued with this guy on the internet. As we all know, you should definitely argue with people on the internet because that's cool and clever. It's all Dan ever does. There's that little Fiat again. Fucking cool. Just hop scotch over here. Fire some cool stuff. Well, this is already nearly seven minutes long, so literally nobody is watching it by this point. C30 is pretty cool. Not sure it really knows what it is. It's like stance, air, expensive wheels, and race seats and roll cage. I like all of these things, but I'm not sure one car with all these things in it makes any sense to me at all. I'm not sure why you'd have race seats and a roll cage plus air and really expensive wheels. But it's not my car, as long as they're enjoying it, good for them. Anyway, this little golf. See if you can work out why I rowed with this guy on the internet. Other than because I'm an idiot and I row with people on the internet. Anyway, that's enough of that. Say bye Dan. Bye Dan. Do a very, very quick sweep of the main hall because they're kicking us out in 10 minutes. The show's actually tomorrow, but because we've got cars on the show here, we've snuck in after hours. As you can see, it's completely empty, which is obviously the best time to see all the cars. Here's one for our very own Philip. Philip has one of these, although not modified. So this is all mainly modern stuff, not really tab TV type stuff, but you can see some things are nicely done. Like this E36 Touring is clearly ridiculous, look at the fucking arches on that. Ballistic, as long as that goes like it looks, I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun. Not sure what's going on with that massive wang on the back of it. Well, that seems to be the thing these days. Let's go and find some cool old stuff. This E30 is quite cool. Oh, an Escort with POV spec bumpers. Very cool. Dan is pointing. What's Dan pointing at? Let's follow the line of point. Oh, yes. Split trimmed overleaf wheels. Presumably. The awesome dude in Poland that can split rim entering. Very cool. Love the fact that's got poverty bum bumpers and so on. Very nice. Got two Fiesta. Very nice. A nice lady hoovering. Like I said, we are firmly here after hours. What on earth is this? It's a rocker. Do it again. A you rocker. It's a something or other? Yeah. Beetle based. I don't know if it was a kit or whether it was a really South American 
very cool. Built yeah, cool. South American low number Volkswagen based thing. Although it's right hand drive, so it might be good. Speedboat, no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Nice two door golf. Sorry, Nova Saloon looks cool. But, uh, Fiesta appears to be on split rim pepper pots as well, which is interesting. And I'll just whiz you over there because you probably can't see that from here. It's quite cool. Don't know if they're. I presume they're custom, never seen anything like that before. Nice split screen van over there. Cool old VW variant as well. Nice beetle with some natural looking patina. Oh, split rim steels with centre caps. Very cool. Modern stuff, modern stuff. Cool camper van. What's that? Bedford CF. Bedford CF. Bedford CF on slot mags of some sort. Very nice. Oh, let's just point this at that haku. Everyone loves hakus. Just skim around, fresh and cunties around, because no one cares. It's pretty cool, huh? Uh, new stuff. Really low cap, that looks quite cool. I like this dude's matching mini bike as well. Let's just go in and see what Dan was pointing at. Ooh, the Z, right? Mm -hmm. So this is firmly in the hardcore dream car territory. We talked about the one on our stand earlier, but that's Pretty fucking sick. Sorry, I'm terrible at filming. Yes. All of the yeses. Might get around to putting up some photos from JC's yes at some point so you can see something of this nature from the US as well. Very nice. Looks like mostly modern stuff in this hall now. Not much here to excite the retro head. What's Dan found? Jesus, what has Dan found? As you can see, this is uh, just like my Lupo. <laughs> <laughs> Not. I think this is the thing that's been breaking the internet recently. Yeah, that's pretty fucking nuts. I have no clue. I presume he's got two barrels on there, is he? Yeah. Barrel, yeah, there's another little uh, another little lip here so the bead actually stays on. Just basically trolling the entire internet and probably pissing himself laughing at the comments. Good for him. Looks like shit, but he's having fun. Mostly new stuff. Nice looking beetle there. Bentley, that's pretty unusual. Oh, that's nice. Nice polo bread van. I do like a polo bread van. Very good. Mostly modern stuff with terrible personalised number plates. Last haul. Dan is taken by the whiteness of this E46. It's like if a Grand Master of the KKK was to drive an E46. Or a Stormtrooper. Or a Stormtrooper. <laughs> that is pretty white. There's or Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> I suppose those tail lights let a lot out. That's your Robin Ball spec fucking paint over your tail light. Tail light. Oh yeah. This has got uh, amps for door cards. Subwoofers for seats, a middle seat that you wouldn't be able to get in if you had legs. All of the white things. I don't even know why we're looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look at something else. It's got white fucking coolant hoses. Jesus. Ignore. This is nice. Is that a Mark 1 Polo? Mark 1 Polo. Split really Star Mag thing. Yeah. Very cute. Very nice. Seems to have lost his bonnet. Perhaps he's been on roadkill, maybe. Could be. <laughs> roadkill car. I'm liking the uh, 911 with that. Though. Yeah, I like that 911 as well. It's whizzy over here. Very nice stripes. I like that. 
very cool. Nice beetle, good shade of baby vomit. Mostly modern stuff. We are at a stance show at the end of the day. Let's go and have a quick look at the lowriders. Everyone loves lowriders. These are not they, bear with me. The modified MGZR, that's quite unusual. It does look a bit serious. It's got some carbon and stuff. Porsche wheels. Wizzy twin cam 16 valve turbo engine. Very nice. Don't know much about it, but it looks cool. This, however, when Dan gets out of the way, looks. I'm not sure if I'm going to say cool or questionable. I'm going to go with, with make good daily. Well, I was thinking about the fake taxi reference. Yeah. Would make good daily. Pearl White probably would not make good daily. It's probably satin be a white. Total, so it's not even going to work. Is total it? pain in the cock. But uh, fake taxi, not a pain in the cock. Well. <laughs> depends which version. You enough, think. enough said about that. Uh, some low riders. Everyone loves low riders. Nice Impala. Very exciting. This car was actually on our stand the year before last. Retro ride slash low set stand. Very cool. Lots of people polishing cars today. There'll be more low riders here than this thing as there's a low rider display, but anyway. A focus with louvres. Have you seen a focus with louvres before? How is that even a thing? I'm not sure. I've never seen a focus with louvres before. I kind of like it. They must have made these. I so. Maybe they bought a lot of spoilers and just fitted one after the other. It's quite cool. The reflection of your head is amazing. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice big uh, SEL or SEC, whatever that is. Thousand SEC maybe. Very cool. Fed spec headlights. Just gonna walk now. You must all be bored of listening to me twat long. It's David Hotwire. The man, the legend. Yeah. There's another low loop, but it's had its grill on Oh, yeah, let's go and look at that. Looks like someone stood on a frog. Oh, wait, hold on. Look at that. How cool is that? May I have your attention? Jesus, that's loud. The show is now closed. With all visitors climbing and going to exit. Shush. Shush, PA man. Too loud. How cool is this? Ford, Crown Vic police car. I think Maguire's brought this in and built it. Nerf bar still. All right. Still got all the police accoutrements. Very cool. Very cool. Anyway. That is crazy. <laughs> That's a big American thing with two turbos yeah. in a E30. That's not even half a bonnet. That's like a third of a bonnet. And here's the Lupo Dan was gawking at, which has no grill. Anyway, we're being kicked out now. So, uh, quick sweep around. And see you later.